A. A. A is for Adam. God created Adam, the world's first man. He named all the animals and took care of the land. God made his wife Eve, who he cared for with love, and rules were made by their God above. Just one thing God said not to eat, that nasty fruit from that nasty tree. But Eve took and ate, and Adam did too, and sin fell on them, me, and you. But God loved them, and Jesus was sent to save all people who believe and repent. B. B. B is for Benjamin. Jacob was the father to twelve strong sons, Reuben the oldest to Benjamin the youngest one. When they all needed food, the sons went to Egypt. That's where Benjamin fell for quite the trick. Into his sack was placed a cup so fine. When found, Benjamin said, That cup's not mine. But this trick wasn't made to be mean or make angry. In the end, God used this moment to restore a great family. C. C. C is for Caleb. Did you know in the Bible it talks about spies? Caleb was one, and he snuck in disguise. Sneak, sneakity sneak, sneaking by soldiers and sheep. He was quiet like a spy, not making a peep. He dashed and he darted to view the promised land, and he was one of the few who believed in God's plan. D. D. D is for Daniel. Daniel was a faithful man whose wisdom was spectacular. The king took note and made Daniel a very powerful ruler. Other men were jealous and made a law that said Daniel couldn't pray, though it meant his death. Daniel decided to pray anyway. To the lion's den, Daniel was thrown for breaking this nasty law. But God protected Daniel that day and closed every lion's jaw. E. E. E is for Eve. From a rib of Adam's side, God created Eve. She was a helper and always would overachieve. But a serpent tempted her with words that were flawed. It said, eat this fruit and you'll be just like God. Though God had said no, she ate anyway. Adam ate too and they sinned that day. Sin separates us from God. It's the absolute worst. That's why Jesus was sent to break sin's curse. So if you believe in Jesus, he brings you to God. He makes you perfect, though you were sinful and flawed. F. F is for Father Abraham. There was an old man named Abraham. In his younger years, he left his homeland. He found a place and he called it Canaan. God said he would turn it into a great nation. That kind of seemed silly to Abraham. He was getting old. God told Abraham to look up and behold, the night stars. Try to count them all. Your offspring will be as numerous as them overall. God kept his promise, as he does all the time, and blessed Abraham with a son at the age of 99. G. G. G is for God, the creator of animals, people, the whole world, and everything in it. Each page of the Bible reveals the love that God has for you. God is our creator. He builds all things good. The universe was empty when he decided he should. First, create day by making light. Separate it from the dark and call the darkness night. He then made the water and above it the sky. Then land for trees, bushes, flowers, and cacti. But the sky was empty, so he gave it the sun. And a moon and stars, and he wasn't yet done. Then came the fish, and all the birds too. Then more animals than you'd find in a zoo. God said, let's create something to take care of all this. He made man from the dust and gave life with a kiss. God made so much for us, all out of love. We give thanks to him, our Lord above. 
H. <gasps> H is for Hannah. Have you ever wanted something so much that you cried? Hannah prayed for a son while she sobbed and sighed. But God remembered her and gave her a son. Samuel was born. A miracle was done. God had answered her prayer, though it had taken so long. She dedicated Samuel and sang out this song. There's no one like God, no one like you. He stands up for the low and comes to the rescue. The Lord's in control and takes care of the poor. He silences the wicked and the faithful he adores. Lord, you are good, beside you are none. So to you, Lord, my God, I dedicate my son. I, I. I is for Isaac. When God makes a promise, he keeps to his word. He promised Abraham a nation, though it seemed absurd. Because Abraham was old and he had no child, but God gave him Isaac, who made everyone smile. It was troubling one day when God told Abraham, give me Isaac as a sacrificial lamb. Abraham trusted God, though he thought Isaac may die, only telling his son, the Lord will provide. And just like before, God honored his promise. He saved Isaac from death when all things looked hopeless. So Isaac had kids and his kids a great nation. God's kept his promises ever since creation. J. J. J is for Jesus. Who is Jesus? Have you heard that name before? He's our savior, our teacher, our godly mentor. When sin fell on us, we were separated from God because God is perfect and with sin, we're flawed. Humans needed a bridge to know God again, so Jesus was sent to save all men. He taught us how to live for God each day, help the orphans and widows, and to always pray. On the day he died, he took on all sin that whoever believes in Jesus would be forgiven. He rose from the dead, and if you believe in this truth, God forgave your sins and loves each part of you. K. K. K is for King David. Do you ever feel little and wish you were big and tall? God looks at the heart of the person, no matter how small. Jesse had eight sons, and David was the youngest. But when it came to battling Goliath, David was the toughest. He swung his sling and flew a rock right on Goliath's head. It cracked his skull and down he went. Big Goliath was dead. David was so great and strong, one day he would be king. He tried to live his life for God, always doing the right thing. One day he sinned and had to deal with the pain that sin brings. Sin seems to feel good at first, but always leaves a sting. He repented and asked for God's forgiveness, something we should do. God's ready to forgive your sins, and that is always true. L. Ooh. L is for Lazarus. Jesus did many miracles. The Bible always said, the lame to walk, the blind to see, but could Jesus raise the dead? Lazarus was Jesus' friend, who one day became quite sick. You have to heal him, the people said. He's gonna die real quick. But Jesus didn't see him. For two days he didn't leave. He wanted to show the power of God, so his followers would believe. When he finally went to Lazarus, the people said, too late. Lazarus died days ago. His illness was too great. Jesus went to the tomb and quickly said, take away the stone. Lazarus came out alive. Jesus' glory was clearly shown. M. Mm. M is for Mary. In Nazareth, there was a girl so kind and loved named Mary. She was visited by an angel who at first seemed very scary. The angel said, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. The angel proclaimed she'd have God's child. At this news, she was left in awe. His name would be Jesus. He will be called the Son of the Most High. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your words to me be applied. Of all the girls in all the world, God chose Mary to raise his son. Through Mary, God had sent his son to save everyone. N. 
N is for Noah. The whole world was bad. Everyone did wrong. That is, except for Noah, whose fear of God was strong. God told Noah, watch out, a flood will come, it's true. The world has become so rotten, it's best I start anew. Build a boat that's bigger than anything before. I'll fill it full of animals and help you lock the doors. Animals, animals everywhere. To camels, to monkeys, to tigers, to bear. The pigs snorted, the horses neighed, the birds flapped and flew. Noah and his family were floating in a zoo. For 40 days the rain came down and covered the whole earth. But what the waters brought was a new rebirth. God promised to never flood the earth again and sent a sign so that we'd know. Think of God's promise for each of us when you see a great rainbow. Oh, oh. Oh is for Obadiah. Obadiah is a book in the Bible. It's not very long at all. It's the shortest of the Old Testament and warns of man's downfall. Obadiah wrote to the Edomites and said, Your pride will bring you down. You built your houses high on the mountain, but God will bring them to the ground. And this warning's not just for the Edomites, whose pride was its foundation. This warning's for every one of you in each and every nation. People who ignore the Lord are quickly known as fools. God wants a humble servant who will follow his good rules. P. is for Paul. Where's a Christian? Where's a Christian? Down the road, in the kitchen? Paul was always searching to imprison any Christians. But as he searched, he saw a light so bright he couldn't see. Jesus appeared to Paul and said, Why do you persecute me? At that moment, Paul believed and preached of God's only Son, that when you believe in Christ, the power of sin has become undone. So no matter what you've done before, God can change your heart. He'll forgive your past sins and give you a new grace-filled start. Q. K. Q is for Queen Esther. There once was a beautiful girl. Her name was Esther. She was put in a tough situation that would test her. The king decided he wanted a queen so great, but Haman, the king's helper, made a plan that'd seal his fate. Haman, mean and evil, wanted to kill the Jews. Esther, a Jew herself, was very upset at this news. Esther got some courage and told the king her truth. Yes, she was beautiful and pretty, but also wise in her youth. The king was mad at Haman, and Haman died for what he planned, and the people celebrated Esther and how she saved their land. R. Er. R is for Ruth. Ruth was a woman of great loyalty. She cared for her mother-in-law, named Naomi. Both were widows, and Ruth took on the role of gathering wheat while out on a stroll. She met a man named Boaz. He was surprised to find that Ruth was so loyal and ever so kind. Boaz would marry Ruth and be happy together. Loyalty is a beautiful thing, now and forever. So when you see someone who's been hurt, you can try to help how you can and stick by their side. S. S is for Samson. Huge biceps, big pecs, a giant man with giant hair. Samson had heavenly strength with plenty of muscles to spare. But Samson's pride and ego made him do foolish things. He'd fool them into trapping him with rope, then break the rope like little strings. Until one day, after much asking, the truth he finally shared. I'd be as weak as any other man if you could cut my long, long hair. So when he slept, his enemies crept and chopped every hair of his head. And when he woke, he found his strength was gone and jail would be ahead. But in jail, his hair kept growing. Longer and longer each day, the enemies took Samson to a building and that's when Samson prayed, Remember me, God. Give me strength, that I may show your power once more. Enemies were packed in this great building, squished on every floor. Samson placed each hand on a pillar, and that mighty building fell. The walls came down, the enemies died, and Samson did as well. 
T-T. T is for Timothy. Paul saw Timothy and how he loved the church. Timothy studied hard, always doing his research. So when someone said, hey Paul, this church is doing weird stuff, Paul sent Timothy to set them straight. Enough was enough. The church of Ephesus wasn't using God's teachings. They made up their own stuff. It was the worst kind of preaching. So Timothy went to them to set them straight. You can eat meat. You can marry your soulmate. Help the widows and poor. Let the world know you're good. Let your church leaders be noble. Is that understood? Without following the Bible, we'll all get messed up. So read the Bible often for a godly checkup. You. Mm. U is for Uzziah. He was only 16 years old when Uzziah became king. But right from the start, he did wonderful things. He learned about God and took care of his land. But after a while, his pride became quite, quite grand. I'm the best, he thought. I can do as I please. I'll light some incense and let it flow in the breeze. I'll go into the temple, though it's not my job. He did, and on his forehead was a thing that's quite odd. It's leprosy! cried a priest. Get out of the temple. Why couldn't you follow a rule so simple? And so Uzziah became sick and eventually died. Because instead of listening to God, he listened to his pride. God gives us rules, not because he's mean, is to protect you with love and keep your heart clean. V. V. V is for Vashti. You know about Queen Esther? How she would be queen? Well, Vashti was the queen before her and didn't really do anything. She had a party with some friends and then King Xerxes asked, Vashti, come display your beauty. But she replied, Alas, I will not do as you say, even if you are my king. I will not go. I'll stay with my friends. I won't do anything. The king was mad and said, That's it. Vashti's got to go. She won't be queen anymore. I'm showing her the door. W. W. W is for wise men. Before Jesus was born, a prophecy told, out of Bethlehem would be born a ruler, and behold, he will shepherd God's people. This day will soon come. Be on the lookout for this special someone. The wise men were smart and kept on the lookout. And when they saw the star, they said, there's no doubt. The prophecy came true. Let's follow the star. They wanted to meet the Savior, though the journey was far. They brought along gifts to give to the child. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh they gave with a smile. The Savior is here. The prophecies are true. God sent a Savior to save me and you. X. X. X is for Xerxes. Xerxes was a nutty guy, but he was powerful. He'd drink wine and party day and night until his belly was full. He thought that since he was the king, he could do anything. But one day it was discovered a guy wanted to kill him and his queen. If not for wise Queen Esther, Xerxes would be dead. So always put God's wisdom deep within your head. Though you think you're smart and cool and don't need anything, we all need God's wisdom, whether you're a kid or Persian king. Why? Yeah. Why is for Yuval. Do you love music? How it makes you move? I love a good beat with a fantastic groove. Well, there's one guy to thank who's behind it all. He was the first to play the flute, and his name was Yuval. He was the great, 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 great grandson of Adam. And he whistles flutes, harps. Yuval had to have them. A world without music would be so quiet, so sad. But God created you, Vol. For that, I am glad. Z. Z. Z is for Zacchaeus. No matter if you're grumpy, happy, sad, or fun, Jesus came to save each and every one. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Nobody liked those. He would go around town taking money from folks. But one day, Jesus 
came into town. A big crowd formed, following Jesus around. Zacchaeus wanted to see, but he was quite small. He climbed up a tree to look over them all. Jesus spotted him and with his heart full of grace, said, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your place. The crowd was shocked. Jesus was kind to a sinner. Jesus talked to him and was going over for dinner. Zacchaeus saw this love and returned it in kind. I give my wealth to the poor. I leave it behind. Zacchaeus followed Christ no matter the cost, for the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost.